CNN is running breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Terribly upset over there. Putin and Russia are dropping more bombs on Syria. Breaking news. Putin, comma, Russia dropping more bombs on Syria. Will we ever see a headline, Obama, comma, United States dropping bombs on whatever? Anyway, the reason is this is all considered an affront to Obama. The American media, the drive-bys, think that Putin is trying to embarrass Obama by telling that they're going to do one thing and then doing another. And, uh, in fact, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. We have conflicting stories about the exact events we described yesterday. From the Wall Street Journal. Headlines all you need here. Russian airstrikes in Syria targeted CIA-backed rebels, comma, U.S. officials say. It's exactly what I happened to report yesterday. That everybody thought that Putin was going to go out there and start attacking ISIS. And instead, Putin attacked U.S. allies, moderate rebels, in, uh, moderate rebels in, uh, in Syria. And yet, Washington Post, Russia vehemently defends Syrian airstrikes and denies targeting U.S.-backed rebels. <laughs> so what are we supposed to do here? The Wall Street Journal says that American officials says that uh, Putin did indeed strike these U.S.-backed rebels, and Russia is denying it. And now they're dropping more bombs today. The attack continues, and it is considered to be an affront to Obama. Now, John Kerry, Mike... I'm sorry, grab sound bite number six. This is out of order as far as the engineer just told him. This is just embarrassing. This, this is our reaction to it. The Secretary of State last night in, uh, in New York City, UN, John Kerry, who once served in Vietnam, uh, at a joint press conference with the Russian foreign minister, whose name is uh, Sergei Lavrov. Now, this goes by fast. It's only 15 seconds. Here's Lurch. We agreed on the imperative uh, of as soon as possible, perhaps even as soon as tomorrow, but as soon as possible, having a military-to-military deconfliction de de uh, discussion. That is our Secretary of State saying that he agreed with Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, that they agreed it was an imperative either as soon as possible, even today, but if not today, as soon as possible, to have a military to military deconfliction, uh, deconfliction discussion. Yesterday he said we had to deconflict the situation. Uh, last night he said it was a deconfliction discussion. What he means is, you know, we've got to stop this conflict. So apparently there's some sort of newfangled conflict resolution going on here called deconfliction. And you know that Sergei Lavrov just happens to be laughing behind Kerry's face with him. Anybody would be. You know what they're saying? These guys think they're so smart. They think they're running rings around us. These are the smartest the USA has to offer, and they're a bunch of bird brains. Meanwhile, Putin and Russia, they are continuing the assaults, and they are hitting, not ISIS. They are attacking uh, rebels in Syria who happen to be our allies. 